Hi there, uh, today I'm here to talk about the K2001N Android radio that many people are getting in their cars. Maybe you've got a, an imported car and they've put a new stereo in or something like that. But anyway, it's just a generic Android uh, stereo. Uh, the screens are pretty good, um, depending on um, the specifications you get. Um, they can be pretty decent. The one I have is not that great. It's only got the, the base spec, I think one gigabyte of RAM and 16, uh, 16 gigabytes of storage, which, which is, um, you know, it's, it's just what you get when you get one of those free radios from a dealer. But what I want to show you is actually you can go into the settings and you can change a few things. So let's have a look. You have changed the theme of the radio. So usually the theme is like an Apple one. But I'll show you how to do that. So you just need to go, it's probably a bit different than yours, but into, where is it? Uh, car settings, system settings, and then factory settings. In factory settings, there is a password that you need. It should be 161 seven six six nine nine now that's the one that usually comes in the manual it could also be two zero one four six six nine nine but here you're in the um the system settings now so in here you can do a few things like you can change your style settings which i'll show you here so the password for this should be triple one 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 three 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 okay and then i'll put it back to the original um style so i'll save that and that should revert it back to how it was from the factory that sort of apple-esque look so something else that i've done on this because it's a toyota is i've added that toyota logo so on startup you can change the logo so i'll show you how to do that as well so there we go, it's back to the original style that had before. But we'll go back in again and I'll show you some other things you can do. So car settings, uh, system settings, factory settings, factory settings, 1617, what was it? 1617-6699, okay. So logo settings boot logo here you go you got the the boot logo so you can choose a different logo i've got the um toyota one on but you just need to select one so we'll select a different one how about this random logo here or maybe that crown that's quite good set boot logo it's done there and that should be set logo success okay go back and you can also do other things too sometimes if you do a reset or factory reset you can have a problem with your reverse camera so uh, back car settings here you can look at the reverse camera so you can select the reversing camera here and you can try all the different cameras. If you've lost your camera after doing some kind of a reset on the system, like a factory reset, then you probably need to go to this menu and select the correct reverse camera. So it could be any one of these. My one just happened to be this CVBS-NTSC. I think it's because it's a Japanese import car. Yeah, so I've just saved that setting there. So it should change a lot. There we go. There's the crown logo as you start the car. Just a little bit fancy so yeah that's that's about it so you need a few passwords and um especially to change the um the different themes that one 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 three 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 so triple one triple three is a bit of a oddball um password that you need otherwise that one six one seven six six nine nine seems to be the one that goes into the factory settings or or alternatively, I have heard of 201466699, either one, doesn't really matter. But it just lets you do a bit more customization 
in that menu. I haven't really done too much on it. But um, yeah, you can do quite a few things on it. Um, this this particular radio, I've put on a few games and things. I'll just show you. I've, I've added a um, Super Mario emulator, which sort of works. Yeah, so this Thero is sort of okay. I've added um, this nostalgia game here. So Super Mario. So I'll just reset it. There you go. So you can just choose your like one player. I think start. Yeah, so it seems to work okay. It's a little bit difficult to play. Yeah, so it's an okay stereo, but I don't think you can really push it too far. Um, but yeah, so hopefully some of those codes and passwords help you to get a bit more use out of your stereo and customize it a little bit. Make it a bit nicer for yourself. Thank you. Bye.